Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode here of the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg, welcome, and if you're new here, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for finding this channel. Um, if you are a returning, um, I guess, patron <laughs> here, but you have yet to subscribe, please consider subscribing to uh, this channel. I try to put out content at least on a weekly basis. Uh, most of the time, I try to put out videos at least bi-weekly, sometimes more than that. Um, but <laughs> it also depends on what else I have going on because, <clears throat> as you know, folks, I've had a lot going on. Um, a lot of you who follow me on Twitter know that uh, my father passed away um, last Friday. Um, he had developed, um, he had caught COVID, uh, it was COVID pneumonia. Uh, he was 81 years old, but he was still a very active 81 year old. I mean, he was, he was still the type who would take his truck into the woods and cut down trees and saw up, you know, lumber, um, you know, uh, wood for burning and things like that still held down a uh, job that he worked like 24 hours a week so he was a very active gentleman um he was a great dad I, I could devote this entire video to him but i know that's not what you tuned in for but um so yes my dad passed away and you know uh, his uh, funeral is this thursday so i appreciate everyone who reached out uh, to express their condolences uh, to me and my family. Um, it's a lot of love that, that I felt. I really appreciate it. But with that said, let's let's get into today's video because <laughs> training camp is upon us. Training camp starts tomorrow. First practice starts tomorrow, and I am so excited. We're finally back to being able to watch football. With that said, you know, John Kim had announced uh, the players who will be starting on uh, the physically unable to perform list. Not a whole lot of surprises on this list, honestly, but if we look at it, and there will be more uh, information today um, from uh, Coach Rivera at 5 o'clock, so tune in to his presser on that. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, possibly it'll be Chase Young. I'm sure it will be. Uh, Chase Rullier, uh, Tyler Loss, Larson, and Logan Thomas, which he did say was kind of iffy. Um, he had a very good offseason, but certainly the Washington Commanders don't want to rush things with Logan Thomas. And I can understand because I felt like uh, the Commanders really, <clears throat> you know, they they, uh, they drafted well. You know, drafted a guy... Um, who I think can really come in and compete uh, at that um, tight end position. And I think we're pretty good with uh, the tight end position at this point. You know, we've got a rookie coming in. We've got John Bates coming back who hopes to take a, a leap into his sophomore year here with the Commanders. And, again, we have uh, Logan Thomas, who I think will be back full strength by midseason. Now, you know, when anytime you tear your ACL, it takes a good year to really get back to how you were before the injury. So even when with Logan Thomas coming back, I don't expect him to come back and, and be the Logan Thomas he was prior to that injury. It's gonna take a while. You probably you probably won't really see him being the Logan Thomas he was in twenty twenty. Um honestly until 2023 but you know the most important thing is is that we don't rush him back same thing with with chase young we don't want to rush chase young back either um so i think it's it's good to go ahead have these guys started on the uh the pup list um notice we didn't have curtis samuel on that list um Curtis Samuel has had a really good offseason. He's healthy for the first time. I'm really excited to see what a healthy Curtis Samuel can do for us, uh, especially uh, getting him uh, paired up with uh, Terry McLaurin 
and our rookie coming in with uh, Jahan Dotson, who we also heard a lot of great things about in you know mini camps and and um, OTAs and and that sort of thing. So I'm I'm just excited. Um, as much as uh, excitement I can show after everything I, I've been going through the last you know few few weeks or so, but. Um, you know, it's, it's back. Football is back, baby. Um, but it was no surprise that those names, again, I'll, I'll put them up on the screen there. Uh, Chase Young, Chase Rullier, Tyler Larson, Logan Thomas, uh, those guys, um, more than likely will start the season on the physically unable to perform list. Um, I don't expect them to stay on that list very long. I think you'll probably see Chase Young back in there by maybe game three or four. Um, same with Logan Thomas. Uh, I'm not quite sure on, on Rullier or, or Larson, but it would be nice to have those guys back because when we had an, uh, a healthy offensive line last year, even when we didn't, but when we had a healthy offensive line, it was surprisingly, it was solid. I mean, you know, that is one thing I can say. We have had very good luck with our offensive line, even though we've had injuries. We've had guys who have been able to step up and keep things together, and we've, we've had some, some outstanding talent to lead. You know, Trent Williams leaving, uh, Brandon Sheriff leaving, Eric Flowers, who played well for us on two tours here in Washington, has left. So, I mean, we've had some great talent to come in and play for us, and then we've had to lose that talent and to, to learn to live without that talent, and the offensive line has still held up. So... You know, my hat's off to the uh, offensive line coaches for that. They've done a heck of a job, I think. Uh, so, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments section as far as um, these guys, Chase Young, Chase Rullier, uh Larson, and, of course, Logan Thomas. All these guys starting on the physically unable to perform list. When do you think that all these guys are going to come back? And when they do... How well do you think they're going to perform when they come back? Certainly there's going to be some rustiness. I don't expect Young to come back and be this this force right from the get-go, but I think that once he's 100% healthy, he's going to try to dominate again, I'm pretty sure. Same way with Thomas. I think Thomas is going to come back. I think once he's 100%, you'll see, uh, you'll see why that... He is such a valuable player for this uh, Washington Commanders team. Folks, that is it for today's video. Again, uh, if you want to support this channel, you really can do so by simply subscribing to this channel, hitting that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release here from the Washington Football Maniacs. You can also support this channel by going to my Patreon page. Uh, I have links down in the uh, description. Of course, there's not a lot of um, activity going on on my Patreon, but one of the ways to support me, that's how you can support me. Um, I did put up my Cash App here. I'm not going to put that up in this video, but you know, if you want to support me that way, uh, message me. I'll give you my Cash App. That being said, thank you guys. Um, training camp tomorrow. We'll report on that. You take care. And... Hell to the Washington Commanders. Hell to the Washington Redskins. The Washington football team. It doesn't matter what you want to call them. It's our team, man.